Welcome. Today we are going on a field trip inside our brain to discover the truth behind the left brain and right brain debate. This is the brain, a highly complex organ responsible for every thought we have, every movement we make, and generally keeping us alive. The brain has many regions that are in charge of different functions. One region can control your speech, another can control your movement, and there are special regions just for thinking and memory too. The brain is split into two halves, the right and the left hemisphere. Connecting these two sides is something called the corpus callosum. It is like a bridge that allows information to be shared, allowing both sides to work together. The right brain versus left brain debate argues that one side of your brain works harder than the other at influencing your personality and everyday actions. Let's take a look. Oh, there's my sunglasses. I've been looking for these forever. Much better. Yep, that's clockwise for sure. Definitely counterclockwise. I'm more dominant. No, I'm more dominant. Uh, clearly, I'm more dominant. Hey, stop fighting. I'm the full brain. This is just a myth. It's not exactly true that one side of your brain is more dominant in determining your personality than the other. This myth came from famous studies done by Roger Sperry. He was involved in split brain studies on patients that had their corpus callosum cut to help stop seizures. The brain works much differently if both sides can't communicate with each other. What he found was that it is true that certain parts or sides of the brain are specialized for different tasks. If the brain didn't try to spread the work out over the two halves of the brain, then there would be an overload of information and it would interrupt the brain from running smoothly. This is called brain lateralization, which is necessary for us to function properly. After the brain was split, the left brain working on its own was more in charge of analytical tasks, speech, and calculation. The right brain working on its own was more in charge of visual and spatial activities and emotional functions. Sperry's findings are real, but he never concluded that as a whole, you use one side of your brain more than the other, or that having a dominant side influenced what your personality would be. So the myth originated because Sperry's findings were overgeneralized and simplified. Things got out of control. Since people love to take fun tests and try and categorize themselves, these generalizations of brain function turned into a very popular myth, with so many YouTube videos and BuzzFeed quizzes trying to tell you which side you are. After all the years of debate with no specific study to back it up, researchers have now tackled the myth by using fMRI scans of brain activity. fMRIs show blood flow to parts of the brain. The more the blood flow, the more active the region. Neuroscientists from University of Utah looked at over 1,000 scans of brain activity. In each person, they looked at where certain functions occur and took notes on when there was activity more on one side than the other. For example, with language, they found more connections and activity on the left side, but there was no evidence of an individual using their whole left side or whole right side more often. Different areas in the brain have different jobs to do, and they may happen primarily in the right or left brain, but neither side is working harder than the other enough to change your personality. You need both sides of your brain. They complement each other. No daily function is possible without both sides of your brain. Thanks for learning with us today. If you want to learn more, use your full brain and click the link in the description box below.